deep within the dense forests, beneath the towering trees and looming mountains, lies a world of miniature inhabitants. These creatures may be overshadowed by the giants that shake the earth, but each one plays an important role in maintaining the delicate balance of life in this savage land. Meet the Cantrosaurus, a small stegosaurid known for its prominent spines that run along its body. These spines provide protection against potential attackers, but even with their defenses, this Cantrosaurus herd has decided to join the larger Stegosaurus herd. Together, they form a formidable group of spines and plates that will make any carnivore think twice before attacking. In the dense forest, a carnivore is on the hunt. The sickle claws belong to the Uteraptor, the largest raptor and the most vicious. This one is not working alone, as its pack has tracked down a juvenile Amargosaurus. With their numbers, they make quick work of the sauropod. but a meal of this size will not be enough to satisfy the pack. As food becomes scarce, desperation creeps in. The Uteraptors attempt to feast on a fallen body by the cliffs. The terrain is dangerous for most, but the Uteraptors light frame allows it to withstand the steep cliffs to reach the prize. Still, it is barely worth the effort. As night falls, a swarm of Megalania slithers out of the shadows. These hunters are experts at tracking prey and will follow the scent of any potential meal. Soon enough, they track down an Alberta Ceratops. This full-grown Ceratopsian is relatively small, but it will rarely back down from a fight. The Alberta Ceratops wards off the Megalania Swarm. Many are wounded and so they retreat back into the foliage. Driven by hunger, they move on to hunt something else. They pick up the scent of an Allosaurus. The persistent Megalania specialize in taking down large prey. And this Allosaurus is definitely on their menu. They have a venomous bite used to weaken their prey's stamina. And with their comparatively small stature, the Megalanias easily stay out of reach of the Allosaurus' jaws as they continue to swarm. Their prey is fully envenomated, and it can do little to fight back.
It finally succumbs to its wounds and the Megalanias quickly strip the carcass, leaving nothing for scavengers. An adult Tyrannosaurus Rex stumbles upon the herd of Stegosaurids. Without hesitation, the T-Rex charges one of the larger Stegosaurus, catching it off guard. The Stegosaurus, with a broken leg, is unable to flee from the T-Rex. The rest of the herd moves on to a quieter place with more pleasant company. And the cycle of life and death in the wild continues. In a nearby forest, a herd of pachycephalosauruses can be found browsing on berry bushes. Despite their small size, these dinosaurs are known for their brute strength and attitude. Their dome heads are not only for display, but can also be used as a blunt weapon, ramming would-be attackers with bludgeoning force. The herd bravely tracks across the forests and grasslands with little fear, something most larger inhabitants of the lands are unable to do. Back to the stegosaurid herd, they are once again attacked, just as they were preparing to migrate. A young Kentrosaurus is singled out by a pack of Dilophosaurus. But it may be too late as a young one has been severely wounded. Despite their efforts, the young one succumbs to blood loss. A herd of this size draws in more predators when prey is scarce, as if it were a bountiful oasis in a desert. Rain drenches the landscape. Despite the downpour, the starving Uteraptors investigate the commotion and stumble upon the Dilophosaurus pack. The wilderness has a way of keeping things in check as things come full circle. The Dilophosaurus pack, once the hunters, now become the hunted as the raptors engage. The raptors leap and pounce at the Dilophosaurus, showcasing their innate strength and agility. The rival pack attempts to flee, but the raptors easily keep pace. A lone Dilophosaurus attempts to lose its pursuer in the shrubbery but the trails of blood give it away. It is only a matter of time before the raptors close in on the weakened target. It's still hungry, they pick off any stragglers. The Dilophosaurus pack is no more. The raptors survey the land, but before they can fully claim it as their own, they will have to face the tyrants.
their calls ring out one phrase. Leave. But the T-Rexes stand their ground. The raptors will have to fight for the territory. The raptors do not hesitate. They pounce the T-Rexes. Their claws digging deep into their hides, inflicting deadly wounds. The Utah Raptors are methodical fighters, calculating their every move. The bulky giants struggle against their nimble raptors. Finally, the Rexes relent, leaving the area for good. The Utah Raptors emerge victorious, claiming the territory as their own. A triumph over the Goliaths. Over by the river, the herd prepares to cross. But a lone member has fallen behind and is picked off by a pair of Dasplitosaurus. The Stegosaurus attempts to swim to safety but its fight with the hunters has left it weak and tired. Just as it seems all is lost, the Stegosaurus miraculously makes it to the shore. Another close encounter for the herd. When food is scarce, the Pachycephalosaurus must adapt. Shifting its diet to include more than just foliage. This adult female separated from a herd with her offspring must fend for herself. A swift headbutt reminds the concavenators not to mess with her child. But being alone makes them vulnerable to the hunters. The mother guides her offspring to run and hide. But she then turns back to fight. Revealing her true nature as a formidable brute. Despite being outnumbered, the female holds her own. Duels like these are difficult, especially within the dense forests.
The concavenators have been heavily bruised and attempt to shake off the brute. But her wounds begin to take its toll and the fight becomes a desperate struggle for survival. The mother Pachycephalosaurus gives up her life to give her offspring a chance to survive. On the plains, a giant Argentinosaurus towers over everything. The ground shakes with the weight of the behemoth. This is one colossal beast that the Megalanius dare not disturb. The pack corners a lone Giganotosaurus by the water. The Megalanias are also excellent swimmers. This may yet work in their favor. But the hunt proves difficult as the Giganotosaurus is able to fend them off. It would only take a few bites from this giant to take them out. Speed is key to evade the terrible jaws. An Allosaurus surveys the ongoing hunt. The Megalanias must watch their backs for predators looking for an easy meal among the wounded. The Allosaurus attempts to pick off one of the wounded Megalanias, but it quickly regrets this decision. Chaos ensues as the Giganotosaurus seizes the opportunity to take out one of the hunters. An unlucky hunt for the Megalania pack. In the forest, the herd of Kentrosaurus feels at home among the dense undergrowth. The thick bushes allows them to hide away from the peering eyes of predators. However, one of the persistent Despletosaurus tracks down the herd singling out one of the Kentrosaurus. They use their spines to shield the wounded member. And successfully fend off the attacker. The Despletosaurus has made one final grave mistake. As 
As the sun sets over the ancient plains, a lone adult eel triceratops can be seen wandering through the grasslands. The majestic creature with its massive horns and bony frail commands attention as it moves through the landscape. These two raptors are the mere scouts as they await for the rest of the pack to catch up. They have been tracking the Ceratopsian and are now ready to strike. The raptors move in carefully, avoiding the Eo Triceratops' formidable horns. They instead target its vulnerable spots. As the battle unfolds, it becomes clear that the Ceratopsian is no match for the pack of predators. The Eo Triceratops is forced to fight on every front. The bull grazes one of the raptors with its horns, severely wounding it. The raptor retreats to recuperate, but quickly returns, seeing as the giant is heavily weakened now. In a last ditch effort to survive, it retreats near a mound in an attempt to protect its backside. The raptors, however, are not deterred. They take a moment to assess their prey's defenses, looking for any weaknesses they can exploit. They only need to bide their time to allow the giant to succumb to blood loss. The raptors, having sustained injuries during the fight, retreat to tend to their wounds. The remaining members of the pack, however, continue to keep the Ceratopsian in check, preventing it from making any further attempts to escape. In a final act of desperation, the Eo Triceratops charges forward, but the predators are quick to react, evading the attack and leaving the Ceratopsian vulnerable out in the open. The youth and raptors move in for the kill. The giant, unable to defend itself any longer, falls to the ground. This scene, while brutal, is just one of the countless stories of survival that play out in the ancient world. In this harsh environment, survival is the only constant. Every creature, whether big or small, plays a vital role in the self-sustaining cycle of life and death. Here, the strong survive and the weak fall. And it is a story that has been played out for millions of years in the tale of Titans.